Yep, I was able to get all this for around 500 bucks. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Growing at Tools. People like to watch videos like this to really get a sense of how far the dollar goes when looking at tools. And while today we're not focused on a particular brand, everything here is from a quality Japanese manufacturer. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe if you're not already and hit that bell to be notified of all my latest uploads. Now, let's get into this. So the first thing I got here is a combination hammer from a company called Tone. It's the BHC-15. And it's really just a fiberglass, uh, fiberglass hammer that's, uh, you got a composite or plastic on one side and you have a hard face on the other. So you can tell the difference there. It comes with this nice, uh, this nice rubberized grip it's it's really really uh it's not texturized at all but it's really grippy and i like it. I'll, I'll see if you can get you a, a close-up here and it's it's kind of like it appears to be rubber that's like i don't know like cutting a certain grain or they took a piece of rubber and then they uh, took a grinder to it or something like that. A piece of sandpaper or something. That's what it feels like. They, Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. They, if this is a piece of rubber because you can see 100% made in Japan, by the way. But you can see that was the finish on it. And then they just took some sandpaper or grinder or something and got that finish off of there. So it's extra, extra grippy. And I like that. And this ran me about 28 bucks. Okay, so the next two items are a set from a company called Koken. And it's the 169 slash 2 set. 100% uh, made in Japan. Now, what this is, is a 10 millimeter uh, clip. Those plastic clip removers. And a 6 meter, millimeter uh, plastic clip remover. These are both... Uh, chrome that matte satin finish chrome and when i first had a look at these i thought they were some material that was not metal but they are both metal and each of them have a different part number as you can see there 169-6 is the six millimeter 169-10 is the 10 millimeter and a hundred percent made in japan there so that was that and these ran me about 26 bucks i believe for the set now the next thing i'm gonna run over really quickly is this a shy uh made in japan i don't have to keep saying made in japan do i it's this a shy crow's foot now i don't see too many crow's foot you know a circle in the community <laughs> when it comes to Japanese tools. So I just figured I'd seek out one and find it. And I needed this for a specific purpose. But this uh, it looks to be a pretty good uh, piece right here. Great, great manufacturing. A uh, little bit of little bit of jankiness in the jaw opening there. But the bottom side is in line with pretty much every other crow's foot I've seen. Um, one thing I do not like about this. I like... <laughs> we'll, for, we'll cover the like i like the hole some some manufacturers don't actually put that hole in it so the thing falls off when you're you know in a tight and you're in tight quarters when you got when you go to actually use the thing it falls off because they didn't put any form of retention on the crow's foot but the thing i don't like about this is that it is laser etched so if you can see there 27 a shy Japan. It's made in Japan, but it's laser etched. I don't like laser etching. It, you can actually feel this laser etching if you run your fingernail across it, but it's not stamped. And I don't like crow's foot that are not stamped. I mean, for me, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't wear out because I won't be using this 
in a, uh, a uh, repetitively and an environment where I constantly have to use this thing, that will not be the case. So I think I'll be okay in the, uh, the, the, the etching will actually stay on there. Okay, so on to our next items here. And I'm gonna have to actually look up the pricing for these because they were all different. All right, so the 12 was about five bucks. Uh, the 14 was about five bucks and the 17 here was about uh, seven bucks. So what's that? Uh, 17 bucks right there. Not, not too shabby really when it comes to uh, a couple of sockets. Now what these are, are impact sockets. And I know it looks a little looks a little strange, but this is a Tone 4NV17, uh, made in Japan, and these are, uh, I, I believe, nickel nickel chrome coated instead of a black phosphate. So what I got these for is uh, to do essentially the same thing I did with the snap-on sockets and put. Uh, hexes inside each of these so they are all half inch drive and they come with the through and through pin and each of them comes with this uh, rubber band and pin so if you have one of those through and through which is not something America usually dabbles in on a half inch drive uh, impact but who knows it may be a law over there in Japan but each socket comes with that uh, pin and rubber band to help retain a socket on it. I'll, I'll set those aside, I won't be using them, but these, uh, yeah, are pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, these are only gonna be hex impact sockets once I'm done making them, but uh, there's like one to two more sizes I'm gonna get in these, and they'll be a, a pretty awesome impact hex. So, that's that, 17 bucks. So the last thing I got on this particular order was uh, this sensor socket. Now, this is a Tone A 3SEN27. Let me zoom in so you can see that. A 3SEN27 there. If you can see, same brand as those impact sockets. And what it is, actually, let me be right I'll be right back let me show you so if you see this is a pressure transducer it's pretty much a pressure sensor uh, for a transmission on a forklift and I needed this it is a 27 so it's the same reason I got this uh, crow's foot adapter here but this this tool here is actually intended for something like this, where as a regular socket will just go in there and tweak over, you know, and sometimes you might hit the uh, this part here, depending on what your socket looks like in there. And as a matter of fact, it looks like that one would uh, smack that if you got it off to an angle or something. If any, for any reason you got off, not on that the right way you could break that but this is intended for something like this where it holds the uh, sensor here so and that's another thing a regular socket will not do for you you put that in there and it falls right out falls right out so that's what this thing is for you take it you put it right in there and it holds your uh, sensor now there I think in their catalog they had two different sizes of this uh, 27 and a 24 and I do plan on getting that 24 there 15 bucks about so this was cheaper way cheaper than the uh, the crow's foot and uh, cheaper than those three sockets put together so here, if you didn't get the product number for that crow's foot, I'm gonna go ahead and say it in case I need it myself one day. 
It's going to be an Eshai VC 3027. So the next thing we're going to get into is this set of tools here. Now this is a set of sockets, hex sockets, that are that have a grip section. So these actually retain a fastener. So if I can find something that'll it'll work on here. All right, so we have this uh, 12 millimeter socket. This is a 12 millimeter. You put that on there, it holds that. It's gonna hold that on there because it has that retention portion. Now, were this a actual fastener, that would hold it better, but it does hold this impact socket. But just not as good as it would hold a fastener. And this is a set of eight. Yeah, set of eight. And it so the sizes range from three to twelve mil. Uh, so you get a three, a four, a five, a six, seven, eight, ten, and twelve. So of course the odd sizes they're gonna go ahead and skip. But uh, I don't. <laughs> Depending on you know what your application is, some of them won't be needed. And let me see what two. Uh, it, it's going you know really low. Two a two millimeter in a set of specialty sockets like this would be a little ridiculous. I'm surprised they even go to three. But that's it for those. They come on this uh, this metal rail which I hate. I've always hated. Uh, and this ran me about 75 bucks and I don't have the product number so I'll give you the product number for one of them and I think that's going to be what you what you would find it under so it, these are the 3015 M from Koken yeah 3015 M-62, each of them say actually. So that's probably the product number. That's what you would look for under all of them. Yep, 3015 M-62, 75 bucks. So the next thing I'm gonna look at here is a set of Koken sockets. Now these sockets are from Koken Z line, the more premium lineup of Koken tools and what it is is a set a metric set from let's see here seven up to 19 but they skip on the zeal set they skip the nine these things are pretty nice uh they they have detents for every spot quality stuff here now uh, as a as an aside really quickly most many people are going to have like reservations when it comes to these japanese tools i want to urge people that J japanese tools are not chinese tools completely different <laughs> ends of the spectrum in my opinion uh when it comes to their hand tools but these are a nice set of sockets and i believe they ran me about 94 dollars they also come on this magnetic rail it uh it's pretty strong. There's three magnets in here. Let's see here. One. I, uh, nope. There's only two magnets. And these, those suck. Those puppies are strong. So. Yeah, that's some strong magnets there. But that's a pretty great set there. All right. So this next set is from the regular Koken lineup. And this set does include the nine and does not include the seven but these are shallow 12 point the other set was a six point and these ran me about 50 bucks and it goes all the way up to 19 from 10 it skips no size so that's actually from eight it skips no size that other set only skipped the nine but these are if you, you want to get a look at the difference here is that it would appear that Coke and Zeal uh, sockets have a different uh, bevel here, much deeper on the standard lineup, 
and the detents in the socket are kind of like a backwards shovel if you get what i'm saying whereas the detents in a standard one or like a standard oval just cut into the side there and these ones are like a shovel i don't know if that like helps you or assists you when using something like a wobble plus or something like that but they the detent is definitely different across all the, the sockets in the zeal line versus the standard line but if you can see here the polish on the zeal sockets is a lot different but it's still good you got uh different kinds of markings on the zeals but pretty quality set the one thing another thing different between the zeal set and this standard set for 50 bucks this does not come on the uh, rail the magnetic rail so it comes on this standard uh metal rail which i again hate i still hate it hated it five minutes ago i still hate it now but that's about it it's the let's see what one of these say these say 3405 m Did they all say that yep 3405 m and we're getting down to the wire here now this i'm gonna have to zoom way up for this guy um this is a universal a quarter inch universal from there we go quarter inch universal from Koken, and it's a little strange little duck there's no pin in this thing it's like a hex in there and it just moves around but this is a Koken zeal universal and it's going to be product number two seven seven one z main japan and yeah this, the detents are still like a backward shovel on these so i wonder if that's that must actually serve a purpose if they're they're using it across the lineup but this thing was about 20 bucks and it was pretty pricey for a universal but i needed a chrome one and i just uh, i just i just wanted to have a chrome one i have an impact one sometimes it's too thick so whatever i'll pay the 20 bucks for the Koken uh universal now moving on here is something from ktc now this is something that's been out for a little little while and i'm just getting around to getting it it's the ae 921 from uh kyoto tool company and this is a hose clamp uh those spring clamps that have the the bunny ears on each side this will screw down on that thing and lock it in place and i wish i had one to show you but this will screw down lock it in place and uh get get, get at some of those hose clamps and what's nice about this is it's not a pair of pliers so you can take your hand and you can reach this into some place and get this somewhere you couldn't get a pair of pliers that would do the same purpose and it's just pretty much just a screw and a moving jaw here but once you lock that down i have used this once once you lock it down on something it's not going nowhere that you would think because of the coarseness of this thread here but they have figured out some way that this is not releasing from there and it's pretty pretty freaking nice so uh there are detents and that's that's one of my pet peeves is when you have special specialty tools like this and they don't have detents in there if there's a square drive on it give it a detent i don't care what kind of tool it is put detents in the square drive that's that's one thing i do actually hate but there are detents on all four inside there so it will hold to your ratchet your extension and this is completely made of metal i did not expect it to be completely made of metal this is completely made of metal and this cost me about 33 dollars i do believe moving on to the second to last thing here i saved the best for last bester you better believe it 
This is that rail that the Coke and Zeal sockets come on. So if you wanted to order it, I'll put a link to the uh, product number of this rail. I believe I got it from Frank's Tools, but I'll put the link to the product number of this rail. And it comes with one, two, three, six, nine, twelve uh, clips. So, twelve piece socket will fit on here, and it still has that super powerful magnet that is not gonna just let your tools fall. But, and you guys are gonna love this. So, this is a socket driver. Um, it's the Koken 3769 NWF-230. 230 is 230 millimeters long. Um, says made in Japan right here on the shaft, but curious enough, it only says Japan on the handle. So I don't know if the handle's made in Japan. This, uh, the chrome piece here definitely is. But what this is, is a essentially a Wobble Plus uh, socket driver in 3H drive. So this is a 3H drive Koken 19 millimeter socket here. And when you clip it together, you get wobble. You get wobble. And when you click it at more, blam, it's solid, not wobbling. And I wanted this for so long, I neglected ordering it for a minute. And I ordered one, and some of you may have seen that I got sent the wrong one and a bunch of mishaps. But I finally got my 3H drive driver. So I can use this with any socket I want. Uh, wobble get into those tight areas with the wobble plus now this is something that Koken offers that I, I don't think anyone else in the world offers a hand driver wobble plus in 3h drive I don't think anyone any other company in the world offers something like this and that's pretty unique and it's a pretty nice feature and I will <laughs> be putting it to the test now we have gone gotten to the final the end of the presentation here the coup de gras the main attraction this is my prized possession so this is a 90 tooth knee press ratchet in quarter inch what this is, is one of the most advanced ratchets in the world, I'd say. Uh, the, the end of hit this thing is hollow. It's, uh, it, it's that way for balance. There's a uh, nylon or plastic nipple inside here with a spring behind it, keeping tension on the head. So it doesn't matter how much it wears out, that will always have the same amount of tension the head will have the same amount of uh, wobble flex head here uh, the switch the direction selector works in the correct direction it's just uh, a miraculous ratchet here and it again is 90 tooth but it's also a quick release ratchet so this thing ran me about 120 bucks and I know, I know what you're thinking. 120 bucks is more than a snap on. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's more. It's way more than they would charge you on a truck for the standard flex head uh, 72, right? But the thing is, this has 18 more teeth than a snap on. Thinner head, way thin. Let me tell you, the head profile here. The snap one was like that much bigger. You know what I'm saying? So this is my prize possession. I have hesitated and hesitated for over a year uh, in going to use this thing. And it's a six inch long. It's retained by pin. And one thing, one thing I can tell you guys 
when you're looking at a ratchet option if you are unsure if it's a quality option now i'm speaking to you guys who order foreign tools this is just some advice if you're wondering if it's a quality option or not see if there's a rebuild kit for the ratchet because everything on this ratchet from the pin that locks the flex head in to the spring and the plastic piece down here to the the uh the little hex right here all the gears the plate the screws everything on this ratchet is serviceable so that will let you know if it has a serviceable parts it is a quality option i'm just letting you know that right off the jump <sighs> let's pull back and we'll uh, bring it all in and we'll see what the the out the final outlook is Blam! So that is it. There you have it. That is $500 in Japanese tools. I don't know if I say that, but this was about under 20 bucks. But that's it. That's 500 bucks right there. And I think I think I made out pretty good. Now, when we want to talk about comparatively what you would get in America, um, I would have to take away some things that. Uh, companies here do not make so that is not made by a company here that's not made that's not um that's not so really what i would have to do is compare uh sets pretty much of tools and it, it, some of it's uh, you know you, you can't really compare it you can't because some things like that stuff, you know, how are you going to get that? You know, you, some of that stuff is such a benefit that it's, there's no, there's no equivalent. Some of that stuff, you get to working with that stuff and you need it in that specific instance. It makes it absolutely worth it. So comparatively, if you want to compare a 12 point socket set okay eight through 19 not a single skip right 50 bucks compare that to what you get from snap-on ridiculous right even without the rail I think the rail was 13 bucks um, you got similar here uh, 12 piece seven through 19 skips nine compared to snap on these are deep six point compared to snap on these were 94 dollars snap ons I, th I don't even want to know so that's it that's my japanese tool haul and i want you guys to let me know what you guys think what 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 here would you guys like me if uh, I'm telling you right now that I'm going to do a full-fledged review of this Nepros ratchet, but let me know what else here on this table you would like me to review. But that's it. That's all I have for you. I'll be sure to leave all the links to everything I talked about in this video in the description down below. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. If you like, you can check out my Twitter and Instagram if you're interested. You can also check out my KC Tool Coat affiliate link. It's in the description. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you're still here, consider checking out my other reviews of quality hand tools.